nice. Nice. So, I have another review for another crossbow I used to have. I have this crossbow. It's NC Star something something. I don't know, you can check it out later on my YouTube channel if you want, but today I got a uh, self-cocking Cobra crossbow. It is a pistol crossbow, really small. And here's the package here. I'm going to deliver this. I have this thing with a light on top. Hopefully it's not too far away from me so you can hear me. But I'm going to open up this package now. Apparently I can't get it. got some damage. Damn, that looks like it came from the inside of the box. Ow. And it must have done damage to this because there's the dent. It even went through the receipt. It must have been a hard thump. Hopefully it didn't do any damage. It would not be the company's fault. First off, aluminum shaft bolts, six inch bolts actually, I think they're six and three eighths or something like that. I should probably look at the package, I don't know the exact size, but I'll take these out. Damn, they, these actually have a nice weight to them because I buy a bunch of these. These weigh like nothing at all, these have a pretty good amount of weight to them. How, much, uh, how accurate these things are. More weight on a bolt, by the way, is more accurate. I've, I've learned that from my experience with crossbows. So I've got to string it myself, which I have no problem with. Iron sights, nothing special. I could put my old scope on it, but I'm not going to that right now. So let's take this out. Let's take this out. Something this small would be so goddamn hard to twist, but it is built for it. Now this is where I'm worried is that this stuff might not work. There's this is obviously the safety. And uh iron sights seem to be on backwards. I'm not sure. Usually this is going this way. Going the high point being over here, but at least it was on the other crossbow. I don't think it really matters, honestly, but I'm going to test this out. See, that's not good. I already have a problem here. This metal thing should come down here. Take it out of the way of the, the string. That's not good. Pretty sure I can make it happen, but it doesn't look like it was even long enough to make it. It looks like it's bent a little bit, but that, even if I straighten that, it doesn't seem like it. Well, it's only one way to find out. What is that? Okay. Well, I don't. There's no bolt. There's no bolt to go inside of that. Oh, there's the bolt inside. So, I'm just straight confused with this. Pretty sure the instructions are not going to be that helpful, just like the last thing. Okay, so yes, I need a key, which does come with. I'm pretty sure I got them. And, alright. Oh, the picture 
does show that this sticks up above. This was a little bit bent and there's this arc thing, I don't know if you can see that, this arc thing down here, this little slot for this to go into. I figured it was supposed to go like that, but this picture says otherwise. These pictures say otherwise. So, I'm going to depend on that as much as I am afraid to do that. So, let's, I'm going to get some tools. Alright, so, it doesn't come with the tool that you need, so hopefully you have one of these sets. I don't know which size it needs, it seems to be pretty small, so I'm going to get a uh, decently small size one. Uh -huh. Perfect fit. I've seen so many reviews of people giving this such a bad score because something went wrong during the assembly and sometimes they don't find out about it until they shoot. And you can just tell just from reading it that the person just messed up on assembling it. So hopefully I don't do that. I'm not one of those people. And that was not bad. It just made a loud sound. And for some reason it's not squeezing in. It's just weird. Yeah. Oh. Well, in this picture, it shows like a little tiny platform thing. Maybe it's in this. No, it is in this. Kind of scared me for a second there. So I'm going to take all this stuff out right here. Oh. Alright, so there's a rubber piece on a platform which gets pushed by this. So here's the rubber piece, here's the platform, it gets pushed by this on the other side, inside of here. So, um, let's see if I'm doing this right. I guess it's like, the, oh, it's just cheaply made, but, okay, so, let me do this. Put this back in. The support, put the rubber piece in, get that measured in. Put this piece in with the nipple side towards the screw. Hopefully if I measure it up. Well, I don't know if that's exactly even, but it's the best is gonna happen. I see some deficiency here. It's like a corner knocked out. That can be a big deal if this is if this side's a little bit weaker than this side, then it's gonna pull hard on this side, which will cause the string to slide slightly sideways, going down this, as it's sliding down this, it will kind of slide, which will cause the bolt to change its course. So hopefully the accuracy on this isn't ruined by this little sliver on, uh, taken out of the corner. So now to restring this, to string this, I should say, it requires these things to be on the cap, the ends of these bolts. And I'm only guessing from a, not just from experience, but also I, I watched a YouTube video on how to put this together, so hopefully I can remember everything correctly. And it looks like I'm doing this wrong already. I think it goes this way, and then this goes this way. Make sure that these are on all the way to take a hammer or something, push them on. But right now, I'm not weak. I'm not weak. I can just squish these on. All right. Now, one technique that I saw that was seemed to be pretty useful. Thank God this is a string. Because I got a lot of wax to use this on. Because the NC star that I got, and I got a review on it if you want to check it out. Um, it, it has a metal cable, it has a metal string, 
it's kind of weird. But so to get this, let's see here. It wants it around like that, I guess. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with my hand, but it wouldn't hurt to try, would it? Technically, yeah, no, 80 pounds. Yeah, no. So uh, technique that I could do is get a piece of string, which I should have one here. I don't go cool. alright. So you get a piece of string, you put the string inside of here, inside of here, and you make a loop out of it. And you end up making that with the loop that's on the end right here, made out of string, you end up making kind of a, a cheaper version of this right here. Of this piece right here. You can put your foot inside of the string, and then you can Pull the uh, the bow back. So I'm gonna do that right now. <coughs> so I should mention that the string requires at least 80 pounds pressure, at least I'd say at least 100 pounds. But basically, what I did here is I tied a slip knot. There's construction going on upstairs, by the way. So I tied a slip knot here, and then I tied another knot on the other side to stop it from slipping. Which is good enough, because it's only 80 pounds. So with this loop, hopefully my foot can fit inside of that. Nice. With this loop, I feel how strong it is. Decent amount of strength. I'm going to pull this back. Keep this in my hand. Pull this back. This bag. So here she is, fully assembled, string it on, and as you can see, I've already shot this thing at least 500 times, just by the way. I'd say about 300 to 600 times I shot this thing. I wanted to point out something. So I know the first thing you're going to say is, well, there's wax for string. Well, yeah, I, I, I have wax. I've been using it quite often. But as you can see, it's, it's already fraying. Um, I've had this for a while since I unpacked and uh, as you can see these metal things that I was griping about earlier are actually doing a lot of damage to the string. It's pushing the, the coiled part away from each other so now it's just pushing up against the actual base string and it's starting to to break apart. So I do want to tell you that I, I put this scope from my other crossbow, my NC star crossbow which, by the way, I'll show you that in a second. Um, I used my red dot instead of this, and so I had this left over, so I used this on this, and it barely fit on this rack. I had to, like, when I shoved it on there, it was peeling some of the plastic back, but whatever. So it's pretty tight on there. I didn't even have to screw it in. So, by the way, when you buy something like this, always buy something like this. This is like five bucks, five to six bucks. Make sure it has the caps in it. It's a 80 pound crossbow. Sometimes they sell 50 pound strings, so make sure you get the right poundage. And I wanted to tell you, uh, I use this to see my target, which by the way is that way down there, down the hallway. So I use this to see where I hit, uh, and I use this to see how far away I'm shooting. My, my target, actually, I put a list on there of how far away the target is and all that stuff, and I'm going to show you right now how far away this target is. I don't know if you can see that. It says eight yards. That's the target. 
So I'm going to be shooting eight yards, and we'll see how accurate this is. So I wanted to point something out to you. Look how far these bolts are in. See the, the black tail fin ones, fletches or whatever you want to call them. Uh, those are the aluminum ones, the metal ones. So obviously more weight go through this. But the uh, the other crossbow that I have does not penetrate this much through the this uh, pink board. Um, the accuracy is not what it used to be. The The string is actually breaking up a little too much. I'm going to have to change it actually right after doing this. <laughs> it's that bad right now. So, uh, yeah, so this is the accuracy. It's, uh, it's usually a little bit better than this, but not much. Uh, I did have to change it after up, after I saw it, everything's uh, going over to the left. So the, the top and then the bottom, those are me from aiming over here rather than directly on there. When I was aiming directly on there, it was hitting here. And I have no idea why that flew all the way over there, but uh, it happens. So that's my review of this crossbow. Uh, this is the new string. And this is the uh, the other crossbow that I'm talking about, the NC Star. And this is a metal cable. And this came pre-assembled with this bow thing that you just had to stick on the stock. And this is my red dot. And this is this is the scope that I got with this crossbow, but this is a red dot that I got with this crossbow. This is my Barnet Jackal crossbow. It uses 20 inch bolts. And uh this bad boy right here is my rangefinder that I used earlier. And I got this rangefinder mount, which goes with my scope. I don't know why I just twisted that sideways, my bad. And I will have a review for this later, just not right now. But hopefully you'll subscribe to see that later. Uh, goodbye.